So you want to be able to save materials so you don't have to keep making them every single time you want to use that specific material. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender. Once again, taking a look at what I just said. We're going to go ahead and do a couple of things. I have a material here as you can see. It's just a regular principal BSDF with a noise texture into the metallic. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy. So that is uh, pretty much it right there. Now, this uh, works. We have to go ahead and hit save. So we have to save our project, go to file, save, and then we'll just save it. Um, I've already done that. It's saved as material test. Um, and we also have to go ahead and hit B to box select uh, every single node that is not the material output node. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and hit control G to group them together. Now you can see we have this uh, little group input here, which is nice. So uh, we can go ahead and just go out of this by hitting this little button. And then we can now uh, plug this group into the material output. So our material still looks the same, um, even though we don't have all those nodes. If you want to go back into that, um, if you want to go back into that group, you can just go ahead and hit the little button right there on the side on the top. Uh, so then we can go back out of it right there. So all of those nodes are still there. It's just in a group. We'll go out of that and we can name this. We have to name this something. I'll just call this uh, blue swirl. Yeah, blue swirl. And then we'll go ahead and save our project once again. Now we have to go to a new project here. Uh, I just go to general. And now if we go to file append, we can find our material test scene, which is this guy right here. And if we click on the scene that we just saved with the material in it, you can go down to node tree. And this usually won't be here if you haven't made a node group. So that's how you know you did it right. If you see this folder, you're pretty much good. Then you click it and you can see blue swirl. Now you can go ahead and hit append from library. And now you, you see it hasn't done anything. It hasn't added the material to our cube. But that's because it's down here in the material tab. We can go back to this. And we, if, we, if we go to the shader editor here, and if we head up to the uh, the add button up here, you can see we can scroll on down to group. And then once we get down here, you see we have blue swibbity swirl. And we can just plop that right there, disconnect this old principal BSDF shader. And now we can plug in the new one into our new cube, in our new scene, in our new project. And now there we have the blue swirl uh, material right there and we didn't have to recreate this material so there we go somebody asked me about this in the comment section hope it helped a lot uh it definitely saves time if you want to reuse uh materials there you go i'll see you guys in the next one but until then bye bye